Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Columbia City. Today is episode 23, and we're doing something that I've really needed to do for a while, and that is to begin actually getting our light rail infrastructure to work. Because I was basically putting it off because, I mean, I haven't really expanded you know, pretty far out of the city yet. Uh, a lot of the areas um, the light rail is in um, I I can't really make the precise stops that I will have eventually So I just delayed doing this for a while, but then I realized oh wait, I could just make some fake stops there Or none at all and just have trains on the line so that they can at least be on the line in downtown Because in downtown we do have uh, stops that are actually functional now um, So yeah, I mean we have like so th this area we're working in right now um, is Actually, we, we're destroying some stuff that we built earlier in the series. We're working within the suburbs. These suburbs are going to be upzoned pretty soon. Um, but we're placing a light rail station here uh, near this main street. And this station was pretty hard to, um, to get to work. Um, like, as in, you need to get the terrain height just right. It has to be totally flat. Um, and this is the LRT station by Klus. Um, and it, it for the LRT network, which is what I'm using for the rest of the infrastructure as well, which is totally a godsend. I really love this uh, network pack, and the station is really nice as well. Uh, it's just a single platform. You walk across the tracks to get to it. Pretty typical of a lot of these um, more urban light rail stations, even suburban sometimes. But yeah, so this line is the one that goes from downtown to the airport. Um, it's gonna be uh, one of the three lines in the city. Um, I'll, I'll basically show you what I'm talking about in game um, once we once we get there. But um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty important line, uh, one of the newer lines um, theoretically. Uh, out of the three, I don't really have a timeline for what was created when. I'd assume the line that goes directly through the core of downtown was probably created first, um, but that's uh, definitely up to interpretation. But here I am, I'm just trying to get this tunnel to work. The tunnels for these, um, these networks do render, but the entrances to the tunnels are a little bit hard to get right with the terrain. But uh, I managed pretty fine. Uh, and then I placed, because these are ground level, this, the, like, because the, the station has ground level tracks. Those are not elevated tracks. So I had to place retaining walls on one side where the bike path is to get those to work. And also for the bike path, I replaced the normal vanilla bike path um, asset with the park path asset. And another thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to add yellow lines in the middle uh, with some decal packs from the workshop. And that would um, probably make it look... A lot more American in terms of uh, bike infrastructure because I mean here we have yellow lines in the middle um, either double yellow lines in areas where usually like around curves we're not really supposed to cross or just single dotted lines where you're able to uh, cross and pass people uh, which you see most of the time so either that or no lines at all is what we'll have in the city but yeah I, I haven't been able to get Arnold J Rimmer's bike paths to work on hills unfortunately because they're really nice it's just they clip into the uh, terrain, which is pretty annoying. Um, but I'm using some procedural objects uh, here. I'm just basically converting this pavement into procedural objects, uh, into a procedural object. I can't even speak. Uh, and I'm using it to make sure that these uh, paths here slope pretty well uh, onto the road. I actually also turned this road into a trolley bus road. This seems like a pretty fair road to have trolley bus wires on. We're gonna have a pretty big trolley bus network within the city just because that's a pretty big thing in Seattle. Um, and uh, we're gonna have a couple of main roads where you do see the trolley buses. They're mostly gonna be like hillier roads on large corridors where either they're not served by light rail or they're only served by light rail for parts of it, like this one. Um, but yeah, like I'm using also this pedestrian path from the workshop that has like this rendered tunnel which is pretty cool. Putting it next to there uh, instead of using the park path because I don't think that has a rendered tunnel. And then here I'm going to begin doing some uh, vegetation detailing in a moment, but I'm actually yeah using these smaller paths to uh, connect to the center here where I placed this statue from the workshop that I've 
had downloaded for a while. I like this asset a lot. I just haven't had a place to put it. Um, so I put it here and I'm using some like surface props in order to uh, create like a little area in the center where the statue is and the sinking them down. And it looks pretty good. I, I like it. Um, and these paths, like I just have to deal with the grass rendering through. So I end up using the ruins texture in order to combat that a little bit. Uh, and then around the ruined texture, there's still some grass. So I basically work around that as the way I do my vegetation detailing here. Uh, I actually really like how the vegetation detail, yeah, detailing turned out here. I go a little bit more detailed than usual because this is going to be a pretty big focal point, this station. I want to build all sorts of stations in the city. Um, I mean, obviously, we're going to have stations that are just on a main street, but I also want to have stations like we built a sunken station before, which I've actually gotten that line to be functional. You'll see that in a couple of episodes. And there's a line by the waterfront. Um, but I, I want to get, I want to have a station in the middle of the freeway because I do have a segment of light rail that does go in the middle of the freeway. Um, I feel like every city uh, should have, the, every West Coast city should have some sort of like uh, middle of the freeway rail line uh, and station because it's just so fun uh, to build something like that. Um, I've actually tried for a mini project before that I didn't end up uploading. I built, um, a like metro rail station in the middle of the freeway which was theoretically the the 210 in pasadena um that was what it was based off of but i didn't like um how it turned out so i didn't end up uploading that but uh that was a while ago actually probably like a year ago but but yeah so i definitely do want to do that uh, and then other sorts of stations obviously we're gonna have some like elevated stations as well um as we move out into the suburbs we're gonna have a, a bunch of elevated um lines especially in the area towards the airport uh we're gonna probably have some elevated stuff an elevated station uh so i'm looking forward to that and then this right here is like something in between where it comes out of the tunnel and then the rail goes elevated as well um pretty close by um but i used the uh, sound barriers on that as well because this is a pretty suburban area uh, but we are going to be sort of upzoning this and you'll see the beginnings of that in this episode because this area I realized the the zoning contrast between this and downtown was way too sharp for me to just let it exist as um, I had originally built it and I really don't like that zoning contrast so I mean obviously we're gonna have a lot of single-family residential within the city but here I want it to transition a little bit more smoothly and you'll see the starts of that um, transition in this episode where we really do start working with some higher density buildings here but mixing them in with even single family homes like we're going to place some apartments around here um, and the area directly around the station is going to be very very high density even compared to the surrounding areas um, and it's going to be, you know, upzoned for the transit access it has, uh, cause that's a good thing to do. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I really like how this vegetation detailing turned out like the Mr. Mason grasses I used. I don't think I had used them before. I like some of those smaller grasses. I really like them a lot. I'm not actually subscribed to some of the older Mr. Mason grasses. I have to do that. But, uh, these other ones that are newer, I really like them. There might not even be newer, I just haven't used them much because I try not to do detailing that's like too small. Um, here I'm starting to place some buildings, um, placing a bunch of different apartments from the workshop. Um, some of them are, I mean there's one that's under construction that we're going to be working on. I want to add more buildings that are under construction in the city just because you know, there's a lot of construction that happens in um, Seattle. Um, specifically and then some other cities but Seattle's got a lot of construction they've been doing a lot of um, building recently with lots of higher density buildings uh, modern apartments and stuff so I'm trying to capture that here by building um, stuff that's yeah decently high density like I mean this neighborhood once again is a weird mix of density because we're sort of moving out from the downtown area but it's still um, sort of close to downtown and it's right next to transit so um, yeah, theoretically it was upzoned and we've got some crazy apartments here right next to the single family homes, which is a NIMBY disaster, but, um, that would, you know, only, only people who are actually NIMBYs would care about that. I think it's cool. So hopefully you do as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just seeing a huge apartment building next to a single family home is 
pretty satisfying because you don't see that a lot um, in real life because people don't like apartments next to their single family homes because, you know, property values. Um, anyway, right now we are working on this other apartment building here. I'm adding this like back patio area. Like I've added some tiles here. Not detailing too much though, but I did want to add some sort of like, I added a pool here um, just because there was a little bit, well, a little bit of space. Uh, there are some rooftop pools, I believe, in some of the other apartment buildings. Um, but I wanted to add one on the ground here and then place a, like some chairs and a table, just some places to chill. But yeah, if you're enjoying it, definitely make sure to leave a like on the video. It would be highly appreciated. Uh, thanks so much for your support recently. I've been uploading a bunch. Um, I mean, there was that week where my GPU uh, sort of died, but uh, other than that, I'm trying to get three videos out a week, and I'm hopeful that I can continue that for a while. Um, although I might switch to two videos a week temporarily once I do my rebrand, um, just so that I can get used to it. But uh, I don't know about that. And also, I mentioned my rebrand in the last video, but I'm going to basically be doing a, a bit of a rebrand in about a month, hopefully. And I want to try to figure out what it, because I'm just generally going to make a bunch of changes to my video style and my channel and stuff like that, um, just to freshen it up a little bit because I haven't really changed much in a while. So if you have any ideas for that, definitely let me know. That would be highly appreciated. I've got a running document where I'm keeping track of that stuff. So if you've got a good idea, I'll definitely add it over there. Uh, and I mean, you guys are the, watch the ones who watch the videos, so... I feel like your advice is probably the best advice I could get. So um, yeah, definitely let me know what what you'd want to see me do differently as as I move forward uh, would be would be highly appreciated. But um, yeah, so right here I'm working on this uh, some sort of mixed use building. I like it. I think it's an edit of a vanilla building, but I'm not sure. I'm placing like a little patio area on the outside of it. Not really a patio, just a way to get to the uh, well, this other entrance on the other end. And I'm clipping another one into it. Um, that looks pretty good. But yeah, once again, we've got a pretty interesting mix of densities here. Like this, I, I don't even know what this smaller building is. It's a uh, like a much smaller apartment building, but it's still an apartment. Um, and then I've obviously got the single family homes. Um, and then yeah, I'm adding these fences to the side of the track because, once again, it's not elevated, it's ground level, so I actually have to do that myself, and uh, it didn't take too much. I used some of the Japanese fences from the workshop, which are more like walls, and uh, that, that worked pretty well. And then, as you can see, I'm just trying to cover a bunch of these cliffs with vegetation, although in a minute, you'll see we start to have a lot of fun with the mossy rocks. Uh, that Grey Flame uploaded on the workshop, and those those you'll see they completely transform um, th this this area. Like they're really cool. We also use them pretty heavily in the next episode. The next episode, I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. Um, I actually put a teaser on my Patreon for that, but other than that, I'm not gonna even tease it whatsoever before I upload that video because. It's, uh, it's pretty random, um, but really cool. Let's just say that. Uh, so if you are dying to know, you can head over to Patreon, but otherwise I, I'm not gonna upload any teasers of any sort for that video, but that'll be out in a couple days and you'll be able to, to watch that. Um, and then, yeah, here I'm just once again doing some vegetation detailing. I'm using mostly just Mr. Mason trees here and bushes, and here I just placed that first mossy rock that I was talking about. And these mossy rocks are really nice because they blend really well with the grass around them as long as you add some, like, the proper vegetation. So if you add vegetation as sort of a barrier between the rock and the grass, they can really work with any grass texture. And um, it almost looks like uh, it almost looks like grass on top of the rock, but it's actually moss. But having that transition smoothly is also nice, because I guess you could theoretically misinterpret that as grass. Um, in which case, it's nice to have a smoother transition there. And yeah, here I'm just adding some trees to the side. Basically, I'm just really happy with the detailing that I did in this build. I was very pleasantly surprised. 
Uh, and then the next two videos, I'm extremely happy with as well. Like I cranked out three videos that, I, and I haven't actually recorded anything beyond that. I cranked out three videos, three builds that I really, really genuinely love, um, that I haven't made anything like this creative in a while. So that was pretty satisfying. Here I'm actually placing those mossy rocks on the cliff now. I placed a bunch of them, like I clipped them together because they're not, I mean, they're pretty big, like they're really big actually, but using them as cliff um, assets, you have to clip, uh, you have to clip a bunch of them together. But I also use different ones just to add some variation and they look so cool. Like I cannot overstate um, how cool these look. Like they, they're just, I don't know, the, the moss is covering some parts of the rock and not others. Some are smoother, some are more jagged. And yeah, it, they look really nice. I do, I do place a couple of trees around them as well, but not too many. Like I'm just letting these do most of the work in terms of the nature. I did place some, um, some bushes by Padelmo around that, the tunnels, the, the tunnel entrances over there. Those are the shady bush lookalikes. Uh, that Padelmo made a while ago, which I love and don't use enough. Because uh, Shady Bush is like amazing. It's like one of my favorite tree assets in the game, but I think it's like 2,500 tries when I'm building a big city like that. I can't really, I don't know, I don't think I'm even subscribed to uh, Shady Bush. Uh, I really wish I was because Shady Bush is such a good asset. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just like these smaller, or these ones with the smaller triangle count are like they work better for me specifically but yeah um I mean, my like i remember when corrales used to use the shady bushes um with uh with a bunch of different uh, things like ferns and then cypress trees it was really cool but yeah and that was actually with the same like if you're if you're wondering what lut i'm using i'm using uh the the uh, vivid lut which is really 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 cool like i've been meaning to use this in a project forever it's what Corrales used in, I mean, m maybe my favorite, like, City Skyline series of all time, Season 2, which, that series was just so good, and, um, and he used the Vivid Lut, and it was, it, it was just, it looks so nice, and, because it's got the, this really, really weird color scheme that's very gray, and I just thought it was perfect for this Pacific Northwest city, so, uh, that's what I'm using here. And here we're actually working on this building that's under construction here. Um, I place some curbs right next to the uh, the the grass, but I actually end up removing those because I do place an animated crane there. Because um, I figured having some motion like that um, within this this area would be nice. If you're like, I actually placed a that same animated train in New Windsor. You'll see that in just a moment. But uh, very very satisfying. I like it a lot. Uh, now I'm covering this garden in garden stuff, um, just various stuff. I, once again, like I, I'm having trouble figuring out what kind of level of detail I want to go for in these areas. It, it's really hard to determine that, like really hard uh, a lot of the time. But I do want to have focal points like this that are more detailed. Like this it looks so good. I really love this build. Um... Yeah, and then here I placed a stationary crane. I end up removing that though once again and placing the animated crane right there. Uh, and that actually operates as like a windmill uh, or a wind turbine. And that's how it gets its movement because I guess you're able to animate assets that way. It's actually a pretty old asset, so I'm, I'm pretty sure you can animate them differently now. But yeah, another thing I forgot to ask you guys is what you like in terms of video length because I'm not really sure. Like I've been uploading basically around 25 minute videos with uh, with time lapses that are usually around 15 minutes. Like this one went a little longer because I sort of went crazy with this build. Uh, but I wanted to like actually there's nothing in the time lapse that I think didn't belong here and I didn't want to cut anything out. Like I think it's a pretty good time lapse today. Um, and like I'm, I'm working on this like really detailed little construction site area like stuff like that I don't want to cut out of the time-lapse, but usually it's around 15 minutes uh, I just I'm wondering what kind of video length um, you guys like and what What uh, types of things you want within that video? 
as in do you want the live play to be longer or shorter etc uh, just let me know in the comments because once again i'm just trying to figure out how to change things for that rebrand and uh, we'll obviously adapt things as well uh, once i implement the rebrand but um, as that's uh, developing uh, i want to make sure that we sort of get it right the first time for the most part because uh, i don't want to change too much after we're af or after i've applied uh, the rebrand and started doing things a little differently so definitely let me know in the comments would be highly appreciated but anyway i mean that's basically it for the time lapse here we finally gotten to the end of our 20 minute monstrosity of a time lapse so it's time to hop in game i'm going to show you what i'm thinking for the other transit lines i'm going to show you how these light rail trains look in game they're really satisfying and uh, yeah, we'll just take a look at the area and some, we'll also talk about the upzoning that uh, I want to do in the area, hopefully. So yeah, let's hop in game. All right, we are in game. Let's take a look at what we just built here. So what we built is over here to what is, I guess, the east of downtown. Um, this main street area we built, I mean, almost a year ago, like pretty early in the series. But um, I I'm really not a fan of it. I don't like the density of it. I don't like the zoning contrast here. It, it just doesn't make much sense. Uh, I don't like it. Just, I just don't think it's very realistic. So I'm probably going to be completely revamping this area. It's still going to be where we transition into the suburbs, but it's also going to be like much more of a transition rather than abrupt, an, an abrupt change from like high density apartments to this, if that makes sense. And then we'll also be removing this high school right here. Just not a fan. Um, anyway, over here, I am a fan of this. Uh, I like how um, high density this is, and I like the light rail station uh, that we built. Um, this is a little bit glitchy, but it I can fix that with decals. Um, but for the most part, this just looks really cool. Um, I, I like how it is on a weird, um, a weird slope. And I just love these rocks. Like, we have even more fun with them in the next episode. But um, I finally got to use them and really see uh, what, what they're capable of. We also have this construction site over here, which I am definitely a fan of. Um, yeah, let's see what else. Um, this building in the corner. Yeah, oh wow, look at the city in the background. I like this, uh, this type of depth of field because it gives you a really cool blur. But, yeah, let's see. Oh, look at that. Light rail at the station. It's actually functional. Look at that. People are using it. People are crossing through the light rail because nothing makes sense. And if we speed it up a little bit, the light rail will go down here on this track that has a, a sound barrier. Um, and... Yeah, if you want, we could actually let's let's take a quick uh, a quick ride on this. Uh, I think we should be able to do that. Yup, just fine. We can ride this uh, for the rest of the way, and then I'll just quickly show you the lines that I'm planning and um, just basic stuff like that. But we have been um, in game for a while, so we have uh, we've been going on. Look, the video's been going on for a while. Look at that, we're passing another train. The video's been going on for a while, so I don't want to keep you for too long, but, um, yeah, so this basically goes over here. There's one station in this part of the city at the center of this sort of, um, higher density area. Also, apologies for the frame rate. It's sort of what we're going to have to deal with here. We're down at, like, seven frames per second, which is not ideal, but, you know, let's speed this up so we can get going. And yeah, this uh, this tram road is really really cool. And uh, yeah, we, we cross over this way across across the freeway. Ooh, almost. Ooh, that pickup truck did hit that truck. Ooh, nice, just great. Um, but look at that, going right towards the sky tower. And then we're gonna go down this hill, and there's going to be a station right here. So it stops right there. People actually have to cross in the middle of the road to get on the train, which isn't ideal, but, you know. Yeah, look at that. I, I just love how these, um, 
these trains look on the hills here. I actually have a functional line going on what you see in the left right line there. Um, but yeah, so basically this just goes down this hill here. Let's just let some people cross. I mean, now we're almost ready to be able to actually do um, like a tram ride video for this line. Actually, not really because we haven't done the portion near the airport because uh, the airport doesn't exist. It's going to be a while until we get like transit ride videos going in the city, unfortunately. But as you can see, we come out the other end. Just ignore this. This is uh, this is sort of rough, but we, yeah, we're on the other side here, right next to the really dumb viaduct, which looks really cool from the bottom with those concrete highways. Um, and then there, the train stops right there, sort of in the middle of the intersection. But then we're gonna make a right turn, and then wow, we're down at a low frame rate here. Um, and then make another turn. Maybe I should have some uh, taller trees here so we're not running into leaves. But yeah, I mean, basically this just continues here. We've got to, we've got to stop right there. Although I might want to upgrade that to a different um, type of tram road just because um, the tracks are... Like, I, I should probably just stick with um, Kloss's uh, roads because they, uh, they're a little bit more consistent in terms of the tracks and stuff like that. But I'll figure that out as we move forward. But yeah, this basically just uh, goes back the other direction. So we're gonna exit there. And yeah, definitely, definitely like how this line turned out. And once again, we've got a whole different section of line over there too. This is just sort of what the, uh, the terminus looks like over here. A little bit rough, uh, just ignore that. But we basically got the line going. So that's really all that matters. Uh, the other lines, I've talked about this before, so I'll be brief. Um, there's one that's gonna go from about here onto the freeway. And then it goes down underground here, and then we have a sunken station, which is actually functional in the save that I've got going right now at the time of recording this. So this is going to be functional soon. We're going to have some really awesome cinematics of that. Then it sort of comes out here. We're going to have the station right there, and it'll just go all along the um, all along the waterfront. Um, and then I'm probably going to make it instead of going right here near what will be the harbor, it'll probably cross over this way, and then go out go out there because I don't really know if I want to have a I don't know it might go like over this way but a little bit further away from the water because this is going to be the harbor area and that sort of doesn't make that much sense and then obviously we'll have the um this line that goes from out by the airport all the way to here and then we have the other line that goes from what will be the Portland downtown probably through a tunnel because uh, it's like newer infrastructure that they weren't able to retrofit onto the bridge. Uh, we're going to actually have some sort of like either cargo or passenger rail or both going across the bridge like that. So uh, it'll have to be on a different track underground probably. And it'll cross through downtown and probably go out this way somewhere. Probably not too far though. But uh, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there's also this this what used to be a line over here, but it's not anymore. Um, I, I might actually add a like a BRT line here, a bus rapid transit. It's just basically a bus that has its own um, its own uh, like road basically. Like no cars can go on the road, so that would be pretty cool um, as a build. And I think this is a good corridor for it because I don't think it justifies the light rail. But um, yeah, we could do that. But anyway, I mean that's basically it uh, for my plans for this. I think we're coming along, um, it's coming along pretty, pretty well, but very slowly, but this was definitely an important build to make, and I'll be continuing to upzone this area as we move forward, sort of change the way it looks. Um, but yeah, I mean, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, helps out a ton. Uh, you can subscribe if you're new around here, hit the bell icon and exit the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a video, so you never miss an upload. Uh, and then if you want, you could um, support me on Patreon and get access to the save game or get access to videos early right when I finish them. That's uh, definitely highly appreciated. And you could also follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. Those are in the description. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed.
That was a fun video, pretty long one though, and I'll see you next time.